2 Samuel chapter 13 After these events, Absalom, David's son, had a beautiful sister named Tamar, and Amnon, another of David's sons, fell in love with her. Amnon was so distressed that he became sick over his love for Tamar, for she was a virgin, and he found it impossible to do anything to her. But Amnon had a crafty friend named Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shemiah. Jonadab said to him, Why are you, the king's son, so miserable every morning? Won't you tell me? Amnon replied, I love Tamar, my brother Absalom's sister. Jonadab said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend to be sick. When your father comes to see you, say to him, Please let my sister Tamar come and give me some food to eat. Let her prepare it in my sight, so I may watch her and eat from her hand. So Amnon lay down and pretended to be sick. When the king came to see him, Amnon said to him, Please let my sister Tamar come and make a couple of cakes for me in my sight, so I may eat from her hand. David sent a message to Tamar at the palace, saying, Go to the house of your brother Amnon and prepare some food for him. So Tamar went to her brother Amnon's house, where he was lying down. She took dough, kneaded it, made the cakes in his sight, and baked them. Then she took the pan and set them out before him, but he refused to eat. Amnon said, Everyone leave me. And everyone left him. Then Amnon said to Tamar, Bring the food into the bedroom, so I may eat from your hand. Tamar took the cake she had made and went to her brother Amnon in the bedroom. As she brought them to him to eat, he grabbed her and said, Come to bed with me, my sister. No, my brother, she cried. Don't violate me, for such a thing shouldn't be done in Israel. Don't do this disgraceful thing. Where could I ever go with my humiliation? And you, you would be like one of the immoral men in Israel. Please speak to the king, for he won't keep me from you. But he refused to listen to her, and since he was stronger than she was, he raped her. Then Amnon hated her with intense hatred. In fact, his hatred for her was greater than the love he had previously felt for her. And Amnon said to her, Get up and leave. No, she said to him. Sending me away is more cruel than the great wrong you've already done to me. But he refused to listen to her. Instead, he called to his servant and said, Throw this woman out and bolt the door behind her. Amnon's servant threw her out and bolted the door behind her. Now Tamar was wearing a long-sleeved garment, because this is what the virgin daughters of the king wore. So Tamar put ashes on her head and tore her long-sleeved garment she was wearing. She put her hand on her head and went away crying out. Her brother Absalom said to her, Has your brother Amnon been with you? Be quiet for now, my sister. He is your brother. Don't take this thing to heart. So Tamar lived as a desolate woman in the house of her brother Absalom. When King David heard about all these things, he was furious. Absalom never said a word to Amnon, either good or bad, because he hated Amnon for disgracing his sister Tamar. Two full years later, Absalom had sheep shearers at Balhazen near Ephraim. He invited all the king's sons to come there. Absalom went to the king and said, Look, your servant has sheep shearers. Please let the king and his servants go with your servant. The king replied to Absalom, No, my son, we should not all go, or we would be a burden to you. Although Absalom urged him, he wasn't willing to go, though he did bless him. Please let my brother Amnon go with us. Absalom said to him. The king asked him, Why should he go with you? But Absalom urged him, so he sent Amnon and all the king's sons. Absalom commanded his servants, Watch Amnon until he is in a good mood from the wine. When I order you to strike Amnon, then kill him. Don't be afraid. Am I not the one who has commanded you? Be strong and courageous. So Absalom's servants did to Amnon just as Absalom had commanded. Then all the rest of the king's sons got up, and each fled on his mule. While they were on their way, a report reached David. Absalom struck down all the king's sons. Not one of them survived. The king stood up, tore his clothes, and lay down on the ground, and all his servants stood by with their clothes torn. But Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shemiah, spoke up. 
My lord must not think they have killed all the young men, the king's sons, because only Amnon is dead. In fact, Absalom has planned this ever since the day Amnon disgraced his sister Tamar. So my lord the king should not be concerned about the report that all the king's sons are dead. Only Amnon is dead.